Hello and welcome to 100 Days of Summer. I'm Christian Page. Thank you so much for joining me. So today was we were out at the rowing venue, uh, which is in the uh, Sea Forest Waterway, SFW. Uh, everything's got a code. As if anyone hasn't realised that by now, we, sp we speak in acronyms. So it's SFW to do ROW. So yes, and I uh, end canoe sprint. Let's not forget that that important sport as well. Um, so a huge venue, um, it actually lays alongside the equestrian cross country venue um, and and yeah, an amazing experience when you think about rowing as a sport and the complexity of it. So yesterday I was in indoor venues, lots of rigging um, from the roofing structure, lots of truss, uh, lots of uh, elements that we normally that you would see in concert touring, in theatrical shows, uh, a lot more controlled, especially like that studio environment. Today, the complete opposite. Um, I was out actually on a two kilometer strip of water, uh, which is the field of play, uh, where, which is you know, where all the rowing and, and canoeing action happens. Um, but obviously it has its complexities because <laughs> instead of rigging, we've got lots of big structures um, and lots of uh, challenges that the water introduces to delivering technology. As everyone knows, <laughs> electricity and water, uh, water being a fantastic conductor, um, it's not always, it doesn't always work out when you start putting electronics into it directly. So we have to be very careful of that, very mindful of that. Obviously there's, and there's safety elements, you know, keeping the crew not only dry, but safe so they don't fall in the water. But we're deploying a lot of, a lot of technology and a lot of uh, equipment around the field of the play. Um, for example, there is about 11 video and scoreboards all having to be mounted on big structures. Uh, we've got uh, probably close to, well over a hundred different individual speaker cabinets which make up the, the PA system which is designed to cover you know thousands of spectators lining either side of the, the field of play uh, so that they can hear what's going on. Then you build into the complexity that we've got announcers in cars and we have radio systems that allows us to talk to the announcers um, plus of course all the broadcasting and then all of this sits on the other technologies which we've talked about. Telecommunications, we've got Wi-Fi networks, we've got uh, radio networks, we've got LAN, you know, all of the things that connect this up to make it possible for the spectators at home, uh, spectators in the stadium and the fans at home to really enjoy the experience. But I, rowing to me is one of my favorite um, venues to deliver. Um, it's complicated, it's big, um, but I also think back to my first games experience in Sydney where we've been you know, mounting speakers on poles along the field of play. Um, it just, it's a different type of installation. It's a lot more uh, moving parts. And like I say, with the, with the you know, increased number of video boards and how we can engage with the, with the spectators in the stadium, with all of that uh, video content, uh, it just adds further and further greater enhancements and greater engagement. Um, so yeah, really fun. What was also fun for me today was I'll be able to, you know, get taking lots of pictures. Um, obviously we're saving a lot of those for, you know, I won't share them on these posts because uh, we'll wait for the games to happen and you can see them live in action for the broadcast. But I did ping a few pictures off to uh, my friends and colleagues. Uh, Claudia, who's uh, now living and working in Paris, she was the v venue technology manager in Rio, uh, who worked alongside the sport competition manager, Colleen, who's a good friend and was uh, with the uh, Rowing Federation for many years. Uh, so, you know, it was nice to be able to connect with them, send them a couple of pictures and say, hey, look, another venue. Uh, we're missing the crystal, but, you know, isn't it amazing? Look at this, this incredible field of play. So, that was fun today. I'm, looking, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to be tomorrow, but we're looking forward to, uh, we'll check in in the morning with the teams. And uh, I look forward to, forward to giving some more insights into how the venues are coming along here uh, as we count down these last, oh, last 17 days, uh, 16 days to go. So wherever you are, stay safe, stay healthy, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye for now.